Hi everyone, welcome to this week's Zebra Report. And today I wanna to talk about having a campaign plan and why that is so critical. You know, I've worked with a lot of agents over the years who have had the desire to either, for example, start a blog, or perhaps they wanted to um, add video to their website or even have a regular video posting campaign. The challenge is if you even begin to think that you're gonna be able to execute on a plan that is mood-based, it's not realistic and it's not gonna happen. Instead, you have to have a realistic plan with realistic timelines and you need to have content and ideas pre-set up already. And the reason you need that is because when you are on, up against the timeline, especially with technology and posting of any type of content, it's far easier if you just have a list of things you have to do with certain deadlines. So I wanna kind of give you an example. A client of mine, um, probably a couple of year ago, years ago, came to me and said, you know, I really want to be posting a few videos a week. And I said, well, okay, tell me what your week looks like now and how realistic is it to believe that you're going to be able to consistently fit that in, especially in light of as the market was starting to pick up. There just wasn't a lot of extra time to do that. So instead I said, why don't you plan for interruptions? Why don't you plan for things to be start and stop, why don't you, meaning that you may have to stop uh, everything because you've got a client that wants to do something today. So you can't plan effectively if you are planning with unrealistic um, guidelines. So one of the things that I did is I said, let's put together a video plan, let's do a one-year plan. And in that one-year plan, let's dice it up a little further. And what we did is we said, okay, let's take smaller pieces of that plan and say, what we'll do to make it easy is every month, will have a theme. So every month of the year, we created a theme. And if you're gonna post every week or twice a week, that means you're either doing four themed videos a month, doing posting once a week, or you're doing eight themed videos per month. So whichever plan you choose, instead of making it so that you're hoping that every week is perfect, instead, why can't you do four videos at once and get your whole month's worth of posting content finished with, or if it's eight times a month, get it all done. What was easy was when we took the plan and we started to create these smaller pieces of the plan, we changed it from being a great big, you know, difficult, uh, scary project into something that was more manageable. Also by having themes, and we didn't need to have the content planned out for a theme that was eight months away. Part of the work of putting together that video plan is saying, okay, if I'm gonna have open houses as my theme for September, and it's a April right now, you've got so many months to bring forth some really good content and ideas, and then that way, what's so nice about it is you're able to come to your video sessions with really good content. So whether it is that you wanna plan for um, doing a video campaign, a social media campaign, a blogging campaign, a website um, video campaign, maybe you wanna have a YouTube channel, Whatever you do, the secret is to create a campaign and to, to really think about manageable pieces and then plan for um, a calendar failure, plan for a client um, emergency, plan for uh, getting sick, plan for vacations and say, okay, realistically, I know for sure there's going to be one time a month where I can get those four videos done. Doing it that way as opposed to every Monday at nine o'clock because I can guarantee you there will be a Monday or two or more where that Monday didn't go the way you planned. So having a campaign and having a plan for that campaign is the only way to execute and to do it on a consistent basis. Okay, guys, thanks a lot. Bye-bye.